Greetings everyone, Hotfix 30.1.1 is live on PC and we have the following game changes. Severgoth Shadow Embrace now respects bosses that have ragdoll resistances, that being Vahek, Ambulus and more, with a note from DE that if the enemy has crowd control resistance, repeated Embrace casts will have reduced duration to adapt against said enemies. Teshin's weekly item is now placed at the beginning of his Steel Path Honors list, Sentient Scouts in Uranus now stay until they've been scanned by you instead of leaving after they've scanned two bodies, giving you the best chance at scanning them with the note that an optional objective marker is now placed on them when within range. Lastly, you can now trade Cambion Drift Fish. As for the Railjack changes and fixes, DE have added the Nautilus blueprint and components to Rotation B and C of Corpus Railjack Defense on Neptune, with a note that this was added to give endless mission-minded players a way to acquire the Sentinel without having to only do non-endless missions. They changed how fire hazards impact Railjack armaments. Instead of making forward artillery and ordnance require two charges per shot, they now lock on at half speed with a note that regular turrets are left unchanged with heat accretion cooldown being half speed when your railjack has a fire hazard. Railjack drifting sound is no longer restarted as long as you keep drifting. You can now press P, mission progress, when using pilot or gunnery actions in the railjack. They fixed a functionality loss when attempting to hire crew from ticker when you're at the maximum crew capacity of 33. Clients never getting corrupted enemies if the host isn't encountering corruptible enemies in Void Storm missions with a note that this was most commonly seen when the host would stay on the railjack while clients boarded cruise ships, point of interest, capital ships, and more. They fixed the electrical hazard HUD scramble effect lingering perpetually if a crewmate repaired the hazard while you were in your necromech, not being awarded the final arcane for completing the 36th orfix. Pressing P, mission progress, as the Railjack mission success end of mission is triggered, resulting in the squad menu being hidden and an inability to select any Railjack nodes. They fix getting put back into the cruise ship after being punted to space due to the cruise ship's meltdown, the turret becoming unusable if a player enters it and aborts the mission, broken camera angles occurring after being teleported into the Corpus capital ship while you were in the Arcwing slingshot, Arcwing slingshotting to a Grenier Railjack point of interest resulting in colliding with the point of interest mesh, launching the Necromac from the Arcwing slingshot via a well-timed transference. They fixed void sync spawn discrepancies if the host was in a different location than the other squad mates, onslaught matrix not stacking properly when used in a squad, an inability to swap a crewmate's weapon if you assign them to a role they are currently assigned to, the Railjack Blink, rank 10 in piloting, claiming to be bound to LB by default, but it's actually bound to A for controllers, they fix mission progress credits appearing to be multiplied exponentially when entering a Railjack turret while having the mission progress screen open, with a note that this is a visual bug only. The Aurex Vertec enemy backpacks having incorrect textures that also read walnuts. Waypoint issues with the Corpus Ice Mines. Waypoints missing their borders in the Call of the Tempestari Spy phase. Some spot loads related to the Railjack Plexus. Overly loud alarm sounds in the Corpus Railjack loot dungeons. A script error that could occur when a cruise ship is destroyed right as a player arcwing slingshots into it, and they fixed a script error when a cruise ship was destroyed. As for the optimizations, DE optimized interception missions for UI performance leaks. As for the game's overall fixes with 30.1.1, DE fixed a crash that could occur when opening the arsenal, a bug that could result in the interception HUD missing markers for clients when joining in progress, Magus, Anomaly, pulling Condor dropships, refreshing Hydroid's title impunity, removing knockdown prevention, Nightwatch Napalm not counting kills caused by lingering fireball as ogress kills for the purposes of awarding affinity, Grendel's pulverized ball having incorrect textures when the Moloch skin is equipped, Protea not removing the respective gadgets from her utility belt for Blaze Artillery and Dispensary when the Collapsar skin is equipped, the Sigma and Octantis initial combo not working correctly on all stances, cases where you are unable to strafe while in Arcwing when using a controller, a bug that would prevent certain clans from changing tier, they fix some more cases of low level disruption syndicate missions spawning enemies below level 4. 15, an inability to swap polarities for Severgoth Shadow, being able to butt scoot while in Severgoth's tombstone, cases of your teammate needs help to open a door, 
prompt lingering for the duration of the mission, damage type, icons and other icons not appearing in the world state window sortie descriptions, waypoint pulse effects sometimes being offset from the marker, the full screen default resolution always being 800 by 600 when switching from mirrored, they fixed a few attachment issues with the Tenocon 2021 armor, emblems being upside down on the left eye on shoulder armor, and certain sign Dana and Warframe combinations resulting in seeing floating black squares. They've also noted that Quote, we have also fixed the PC Twitch drop for Devstream 154, that being the drop of three scintillants. Please re-log to receive your inbox. If you do not receive it right away, check back in five minutes as it may take a moment to fulfill the backlog. Anyway, that is 30.1.1's patch note rating. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.